Okay, we're gonna be looking at a basic palsutro, um, hooking, passing type motions. Um, and my partner, he's gonna be holding a knife, knife in a forward grip, sometimes called sak sak. Um, I'm gonna be doing it in a reverse grip, sometimes called pakal. The drill is gonna start with a basic thrust to the body, and I'm gonna make a simple hook. Um, a lot of times, people they hook down, and that's where go. You kind of already got stabbed. So we got to make sure that we're going out and around. I'm going to check under the elbow as I retract. So it's kind of a one-two motion. And I'm going to pull back and then thrust. This motion would be as if if he goes to thrust in the gut, I want to get behind him, switch sides, and go to the kidney kind of motion. So if I'm here, it's, that's what I'm thinking about. But as he goes, one, two. Now he's going to check underneath. And then he's going to come under, or excuse me, over with this backhanded stab to my neck. When I pass here, or I check here, okay, I'm doing it thumb away because I'm coming up. If I go this way, I can cut my own thumb. So I wanna make sure here, and then I'm gonna stab as I pass this out down here. And then he's going to slap pass it and bring it through. From here, I have two options. If I'm feeling good about the motion, I'll come across, or I could be coming across, but as he thrusts, I can just hook and the drill repeats. My second option, as he does the slap pass again, and he thrusts, is to check it out, pass it out, tap it out, whatever you want to call it, and then come through. I also can get other motions in here, lift, and go. So I can just check it out, palasuk, hook it out, lift, come in, or I can check it out, hook, up, here. And this is our basic flow drill, hooking drill, policy drill, call it what you want. Okay, for this. And we can take this in a lot of different places. We can add things. Right now, one person is always working one position, the other person always working the other position. Later on, we can flip it where I'm working forward, he's working forward, he's working reverse, I'm working forward, we're both working reverse. We can play with it different ways. Um, we can also make it where the drill goes back and forth where we switch roles, we can add disarms, we can add inserts and everything else to it. But the basic, one more time, I'm in a reverse, okay, he's in a forward grip, he thrusts, I hook it out, check up, stab, when he checks, he comes with the backhanded thrust, I check, thumb away from his knife because I cut up, as I pass it out and thrust, he's going to slap, pass it across, I can either check and hook, or come across and hook, and we're back to where we started. And the drill just keeps repeating. It's a flow drill. It's not the fight. Understand, it's working sensitivity. It's working attributes. This stuff moves too fast, especially in close quarters sometimes, for me to track it okay, with my eyes. So I need to use sensitivity and my feelings for it. Okay? And this is working that sensitivity. It's working that feel of where's the opponent. Okay, it's the idea of if I touch his head, I know his feet are under him without having to look just because he's human, unless he's some kind of mutant and his foot is sticking way out there. Okay? But that's the pal suit. Remember, it's not the fight. It's a drill to work attributes of the fight. It's like a sprinter. If they want to get faster, they'll do squats. Squats isn't running, but it makes their legs stronger. It's an attribute.